Before starting the video, just to let you know that you can download the notes or examples on the description below. So let's say there is a town A that connects to town B and B is connect to C. And we have town D connect to B and C. So this is called network. In fact, this is connected network because all towns are connecting together. So town A, B, C, D are called vertices or nodes if you like. So we have vertex A, vertex B and vertex D and C and so on. So these are vertices. And then the line connect from A to B, B to D and to C and C to D and so on. So they are called edges. The line from A to B is we call edge AB. And then um, BC is edge BC and then edge BD and then um, CD. Also, please note that uh, from A to B, we have only one line, one edge. So therefore, the degree of A is one. From vertex B, we have one edge, two and three. So therefore, the degrees of B is three. And then similarly, so from D, we have two lines, that is edges. Therefore, the degree of D is two. So please take note on that as well. Next one. So we have town A connect to B and B connect to C. And where's town D and F, they connect together. And then in F, there's a loop. So this is also called network because we also have vertex and then edges. Now in F, there's a loop. So from here to here, we only count as one edge, but then with the degree, two degree, okay, in the loop. So in town A, we have we only have a degree of one, and then B, the degree of B is two, and then for C, degree is one. At vertex D, we have degree of one. And for F, now the edges, because of this loop, we have only one edge, but then the degree for this is one, two, three. Okay, so three degrees and two edges. So please take note on this. So this is also another network. And um, town D and F doesn't connect to the other three towns. So therefore, we call disconnected network. So please take note on this. Next one. So if you look at this, B, we have town A, B, C, D. But this time, you can only go from A to B. And from B, you can either go to D or C. And then C, you can only go to D. So therefore, this one we call directed network because it's had direction. And whereas this one here, A, B, C, D, and doesn't have any direction. So therefore, this is undirected network. Let's look at this example here. Let's find the following. So find the degree of A. So if you look at A here, so, so we have the degree is we have one, two, three, four. So the degree of A is four because it's four edges around the A. And to find the degree of B at vertex B, so we have one, two, three. So we have degree of three. Now for the degree of C, so which is we have one, two, three. So degree of three. And then for D, so we have one, two, three, four, five. So five degrees of, the degree of D is five. And then for E, we have only one. So the degree of E is one. And for F, now remember F, we have one edges, two and three. But then the degree is slightly different because we have one, we count this is one, two, three, four. So the degree is four, okay? So that's what that meant. Now, number of loop. So in this, in this network, we have only one loop. So this loop here, so we have only one. So one loop. And then the number of vertices of odd degree. So for odd degree, so we have B is have a degree of three 
and C and then E and D as well of course so we have one two three four so therefore four vertices just write this down for vertices and the number of vertices of even degree so even degree is degree of A is 4 degree of F is 4 as well so they're even so therefore that is degree of A and F so number of vertices so which is 2 now look at this network okay I want you to stop the video and I want to try this one yourself So in A, so how many degrees do we have? A, we have 1, 2, so which is equal to 2. And for B, for vertex B, so we have 1, 2, 3. So the vertices, the degree of, the degree of vertex B is 3. And then for E, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so which is equal to 4. And then for C, so don't forget, okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the degree of C is 5. And the de degree of D, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So equal to 4. And then the degree of F is 1, 2. So which equal to 2. And the number of vertices. So number of vertices. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 vertices. 6 vertices. And number of edges. Now edges is the roots. Okay. So we have 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Remember, this is not a loop, okay? And then this loop here can only 1, so it's 10. So therefore, it's 10 edges. So just write 10, 10 edges. Last one. Please stop the video. Try this one yourself. Five the number of edges. So first of all, we just need to count all the edges. Let's start from A. So this one here, this is one loop, so you count only one edge. And this one, another one, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven edges. So seven edges. So five the number of vertices. So vertices is corner if you like. So we have one here, two, three, four. So we have four vertices. So just write down four vertices. Find the degree of vertex A. So at A we have one, two. Now this one here we have one loop, so only one edge here. But then we have two degrees so this one is not a one so four and same here we have one more loop here only one edge but the degree is two so one two here as well so we count one two three four five six so six degree so six degree and then find the vertex that had the smallest degree so the smallest degree so that's by looking at the um, network is only have two degrees the rest are more than two so that is vertex c so vertex c and last one find the vertex that has the largest degree so of course the largest one is at vertex a because we have six degree whereas b you have only three 
and D have only three and C is two. So A has the largest degree. So we just write vertex A. Thank you so much for watching.